Yeah, I don't know if you've ever heard that song, uh, I Feel Safe in New York City, but it's my anthem coming from Podunk, Oakley, Idaho. One of the reasons I absolutely adore New York is it's just full of tribes and tribes of all different kinds. So you sort of have the art scene, you've got the music scene, you've got the entrepreneur scene, you've got the business corporate scene, you've got the country club scene, and all of which you can just dip into these tribes and no one minds. You know, it's, it's really, there's no barriers. You can just, you can try things on, you can move around, you can have, you know, go and visit some galleries in Chelsea and then watch the music in the Lower East Side and head out to some warehouse party in Bushwick and, and no one minds. The great blessing of New York City for me when I first arrived was the feeling of being a, a, an individual but with perfect anonymity and with a lot of tolerance. Um, whatever floated your boat, basically you could pursue in New York City because people didn't care. Really? Yeah, so I came to the city for college, went to FIT. I moved here when I was 17. I didn't know a single person, um, so that was kind of interesting. And uh, like I said, I mean, I've met people on OKCupid, I've met people on the streets, I've met people on, you know, park benches or drunkenly in a bar late at night. It's been an interesting journey. I think my favorite thing about New York is just how quickly you can find something to do any day of the week any hour you can like pull out your phone or your computer like call a friend whatever what's there to do there's going to be like a thousand things to choose from there's no uh, there's no worry of understimulation boredom is self-imposed here you know i grew up in jerusalem israel i grew up with with goats in my backyard and you know this small town everything third world country whatever uh, I originally came from Canada, uh, where I grew up in a small town in the northern part of Alberta. I'm from Worcester, Massachusetts, a shitty town, city in, in central Mass. If you're from the Midwest or if you've ever been, you know that it, people get very comfortable and it's very easy to get comfortable. Basically, uh, you know, it's an uneventful, boring ass, pretty white trash. Um, town city you call it, even though it is the second largest town city in New England. It's just different. Everywhere you go is different, but it's good and good. It's a good thing, you know? Like, I wouldn't change it for any, for any place in the world. I've been in Chicago, I've been in Austin, Florida. Florida sucks. So I'm from Florida originally, and it sucks. It's hot. People are angry because it's hot. There's old people who are angry because it's hot. Everything about there sucks because it's, it's hot. And um, it was my dream my entire life to come to New York City, even before I came here, before I saw any pictures, just because I knew it was a good vibe and a good energy. I don't know, I love New York, man. I think a lot of my friends back, back there, um, which is where I grew up in Minnesota, um, yeah, they you know have families and homes and uh, nine to fives, and, and they're perfectly happy. Um, I know that... I wasn't. Yeah, I just needed something a little bit more uh, outgoing. I'm the type of person that doesn't like, you know, the same thing over and over again. So I just decided to pick up and leave. So I've been here for about nine, nine years or so. The first time I saw the big city of New York, I had to move here. And uh, it took me a couple of years before I wanted to line up a job first and all those kinds of things. Um, and I always wanted to live in a place where I had the option and the opportunity to be whatever I wanted to be. And I felt like in Israel, especially in Jerusalem, especially being my mom's daughter, I knew everyone and everything and everyone and everything knew me. 720 people, probably 99% of them are my cousins and all Mormon. Yeah, I'm, I'm the, bl the black sheep. There was nowhere else to, to, to develop. There was nowhere to grow. There was no room to grow. And, and, I, and I needed that the feeling of, of something new and something exciting and, you know, conquering a new territory in, in, in my life. I'm pretty sure the only guy 
since the town was founded by my great grandfather in uh, what 1865, I think, 70, 1870. I can't remember what it was, but uh, probably the only guy that ever moved to New York. Um, this was the big emerald city that beckoned me from suburban New Jersey when I was a teenager. I really feel like New York is the only place where you can really do anything. <laughs> and it sounds kind of corny and it, and it sounds like such a cliche, but it's true. In New York, there's just so much opportunity. The other thing that New York City was very, very good at doing, and then the thing that I think makes it one of the best schools you could ever attend it, in your life is that New York City forces you to define your identity. Uh, it forces you to define what you do and who you are. And it's, uh, it's a process that it almost happens by default because you're right up against millions of other people and you're having to claim your little square foot of space as you move through the canyons of this town when I've realized I'm really in New York and like with it and probably going to stay here for a while because I don't know, like I said, when you find a piece of the universe and like can really call it your own corner, it's pretty, pretty cool. I, I tried the whole LA thing and it didn't work and I came to New York during the summer for vacation, for a short vacation and I really liked it. I just really liked the feeling. I felt like, you know, no matter if no matter if you're if you're a delivery guy or if you if you live on Fifth Avenue or if you're a taxi driver or if you're the editor of whatever magazine, I felt like in this place there's no judgment and I felt belong I feel belong in Bushwick, Aberdeen, in Brooklyn or in Fifth Avenue. I feel belong everywhere I go and I feel like there is this mutual respect towards bigger dreams and bigger goals. Every time we turned a corner there was someone doing something interesting, someone creating something and it's so inclusive, you know, there's no barriers in New York. If you want to have a go, people, people want you to have a go, they want you to, to try and, and get involved. Uh, so I just knew I had to be part of it and then spent a good year campaigning to get myself transferred out to this office. So I would explain to friends and parents, I'd say New York's great because you can do whatever you want. Nobody gives a flying hoot. And then, you know, of course, when you talk to people about what's so horrible about New York City, you, you'd explain, well, it's horrible because nobody gives a flying hoot. <laughs> I guess after you live here long enough, there is no this crazy thing because you've done so many crazy things that becomes the normal. I mean, like, I guess there was one time where I found... Mm. No, it's, it's not really it either. People don't really look at each other with disdain and people don't try to be condescending or... And a lot of people would disagree and say that this is the most condescending place and people here are the most snobby or whatever, but in my experience, I, I came here as a blank piece of paper and everything I'm saying is my experiences alone. And in my experience, People here tend to be happier because they're more successful and I guess they have more things going for them and, 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 and they're just a lot more fun and, and you see it in the city, you see it in the nightlife, you see it in you know, the shows, the, the exhibitions, the, the, the film premieres that I go to and, and, and I just really like the people of New York City a lot mm -hmm. and I'm hoping to stay here if I can um, until I get really sick of it when I'm a lot older and then I'll move to Vermont and grow my own vegetables or something. But for, for now, it's a perfect, perfect place for me. And I, I think I'm, I'm hanging on pretty well, so I'm not going anywhere. <laughs>